So on the, the Kiwi Farms, I've made a new board called The Situation. If you scroll all the way down until you see the, the sextant, um, that'll be the new board. I'll just show it to you, actually. Um, let's see. It is a little bit slow right now. I'm not sure why. I'll look, I'll, I'll look into it later. This is the, the site, scroll all the way down to the situation, click it. Um, these are, I'm going to make threads of outstanding issues that the forum is facing that I will probably need third party help to resolve. And right now, the situation is primarily two things. Um, and I'm accepting input on both of these. I am still looking for a registered agent. The, the, it's a um, it's a big question because it's balancing three different things. I need a person to actually do it. I need a state that has laws compatible with the Kiwi farms, which is a difficult ask because we have locales that do really gross stuff. They draw gross stuff. They um, film themselves doing gross stuff. Um, and the, there's limited states that have permissive laws on all the content that the Kiwi Farms hosts. Even even though like we do generally um, everything that we do, we have a critical use for. So we have carve outs. I I don't want to risk it. So I'm just trying to stay in states that would be more permissive towards um, all the elements of free speech that we that we utilize. The other the other issue is that um, the banking issue. And I, I, I mentioned this before that I'm looking for a bank that would not deplatform us and is also either on Fed now or planning to get on Fed now. And there are two considerations with this. There are banks that are set up to not be to be deplatforming resistant. None of them use Fed now. And um and someone suggested either what I didn't even know that this existed, but there are two publicly owned banks in the US. The Bank of North Dakota is owned by the state of North Dakota. And the Bank of the Territorial Bank of American Samo is um, also owned by the, the, over, the, the Pacific Island of American Samo. So theoretically, if a resident of North Dakota or American Samo is trustworthy enough for me to sign my name next to and wants to open a bank account and be uh, a, a controller of this account, um, and just wait and see if these banks, Samo is how you pronounce Samoa. That's actually, that's how they, that's how they pronounce it. It's pronounced Samo. Um, but theoretically, if you are from North Dakota and you have a clean record and I can trust you with, um, a bank account, it won't be the same as a registered agent. You won't be public. I don't think. Um, but you should be ready for the risk, but I don't think it'll be public. You just have, I have to trust you and you have to trust me like your social security number for the purposes of opening the account. And you'll have to be in the state of North Dakota. Um, so that the bank will actually allow us to have an account. And then hopefully sometime in the future, bank of North Dakota will have fed now and I'll be able to receive deposits. Or if you know a bank that is platform resistant that you actually can talk to, that's not just like, well, I like my credit union. Like if you actually can talk to them, and confirm that they are willing to take it on and that they plan to be on fed now uh, do let me know on the threads um as far as the llc's go i'm gonna have to do more research into what states i'm precisely looking for but i to be a registered agent i would ask that you not be a felon because i want you to be armed you need to have a gun because um people will come to your house you will be swatted they will go after you if you have family that they can find they will go after your family as well um, so you have to have your own land, like whatever you want to use as the address for the registered agent thing you have to own, because if you rent, you'll be kicked out. Your, your lease will be terminated. And it's just, it, I know it's a huge ask. I know it's a big pain in the ass. Um, but I can't, I can't do everything by myself anymore. Like the problems that I'm facing are unprecedented. Nobody on the planet earth has issue issues, registering a company has issues finding a bank, uh, banking is becoming a more serious problem, but um, I'm trying, I'm attempting something new. I'm gonna be the first person to use FedNow to get around debanking issues. So 
um, I'm looking for the Bank of North Dakota or anything that I don't privately own banks that are owned by people who have the balls to say we're gonna we're gonna platform you. We're going to allow people to use Fed now to send you money, and we're gonna eat the shit that we have to eat to keep you up. Um, and then for the registered agent, uh, it's like I need somebody who's actually <laughs> who can scan my mail, who can scan my mail and deal with all the other bullshit attached to it. Yeah, all this for a drama site, but it's like I say, you know, it, it, it is almost because the Kiwi Farms is so petty and silly that it feels necessary because if something silly can't exist, if something silly doesn't have a right to live, then serious things don't stand a fucking chance. Serious things that actually impact people and and change the course of things uh, don't stand a fucking chance if the precedent is allowed to sit. Um, and eventually, what's going to happen is, if I do find a, a way, I am going to dig in my heels, and I'm going to find a way to elevate other people as well. I'm really dead serious about the nonprofit thing. Eventually, once I find a way to make it work with what I have, um, I will dig in and I will make it work for other people too. So, and that's part of the reason why trannies like Liz Long Jones are so, are so dedicated to trying to take down the site. Cause they know he described it like, um, a, a virus or a bacteria before like Keffels was just sort of, um, like a low dose of antibiotics and it didn't kill the site. And as a result, the site was much stronger for a period of time which is why Liz Fung Jones took it upon himself to double, triple, quadruple down to truly try and eradicate the forum from existence because he knows that if I'm allowed to put in my roots, make contacts, network with people, and set up something serious, um, it's over. You'll never be able to take down the site, and who knows what else I'll end up hosting um, and allow people to host with me uh, that would be antithetical to his, um, his hobby of rape. So that is, that is the thought. Um, uh, my poster here, if you want to read through them, I'll try to add and expand and, and put down maps of what states I'm looking at over time. Uh, if you'd like to offer suggestions, you can post it there. You can just email me. Um, I know that I've gotten offers before. If you want to email me again with your offer, um, if you are really serious about it, let me know. And um, I am also, once I, I have so much to do. Um, and like I mentioned that my streaming chat is like fucked up now. Um, I, I have multiple projects that I'm working on. I have the Nginx module um, that's written in C. I have the Rust module for the anti-DDoS thing that's written in Rust. Um, I have my stream chat. I, and I'm ending up, I'm, I, have, I have more ideas for how to make my anti-DDoS thing work better at um, integrating with other servers. Um, and I intend to open source these eventually. Uh, so eventually I will open up like a Git repository and I would like to network with people who know how to code. And when that happens, I would, I would really like, I have like uh, two people who are C engineers right now. One, I don't want to spoil it, but he's pretty cool. He works for a, a pretty large company and it's nice to talk to him about stuff, but I would like to network with people and eventually have like an actual team to, uh, to further my ideas because I I'm, I'm constantly having to juggle my projects. Um, and I would, I would like something more permanent so I can relax every so often, but such is life. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.